Hello, Morning Mimosas viewers. This is the founder, Holly Sisa. And as you guys know, this is Morning Mimosas, where we value criminal justice, healing, and education for the Black and minority communities. Today, we have a very special treat. And I say special because um, Morning Mimosas is on this wonderful lady's platform. Let's Go ahead and welcome the multi-talented, multi-everything, Miss Yolanda McKenzie. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Hello, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Like, like I, like I just stated to the viewers, you are multi with it. So let's uh, let's yeah. educate some people today. All right. So yes. Um, I am. I do have a lot going on. My first um, journey was starting the nonprofit Ladies and Youth Incorporated. Uh, that is a nonprofit that is geared towards single women and teen girls. I have a deep passion for single mothers and teen girls that are runaways, aging out of foster care, and also sex traffic victims. I also have a clothing line called Clatchet. Um, that I started, and that is two words put together. So that's classy ratchet. But I started really? that brand. <laughs> yeah, that. I started <laughs> that brand because a lot of times people put certain stigmas out there. Like when you get to a certain age, there's certain clothing that you're not supposed to wear. But yeah. I like to believe that it's not what you wear; it's how you wear it. So okay. right. So I can wear you know, a cute outfit, maybe it might have a little slit on the side, maybe the top might show just a little cleavage, but I'm giving classy, but just the taste of ratchet. So I'm not revealing everything. So that's how the clothing brand came about. I also have a podcast called Sip and Talk with Miss Londa. Under that podcast, I have two other shows, Queens Talk Live, Queens Talk Live is a live call-in vlog where people can call in and ask for relationship advice. And then I also have oh, I'll just, uh, Sip of Reality, where I do celebrity gossip. I do uh, reality TV reviews. And I also have Queens Talk TV. And I started that this January of this year. And um, I really love everything I do. You know, I started Queens Talk TV to give content creators the opportunity to be able to show their talent and their creativity to millions of people. And I and I really am passionate about being able to do this and hoping, well, I know it's going to take off and I have faith in it. That is absolutely for sure. Um, as you guys mentioned, um, as she mentioned, she um, gives podcasters and other content creators a huge platform and there is a lot of amazing shows on there um it just amazes me um to, to see the different types of content that she has on there and a lot of i, I just want to go ahead and just give you um your flowers real quick because some of some of that content that is on there is absolutely amazing i'm just like this is i'm like steven spielberg give her a, give her a job you feel me like what I mean, what is I mean, what is what's happening with that? Like they need you in Holly in Holly Weird. Okay. I had to say Holly Weird because that's because <laughs> that's what it is. Right. But um to give you your flowers, you. you're very welcome. And then your nonprofit, I had no idea that you were doing all of this amazing stuff with that. Um, and I just want to say God bless you because I I definitely could have needed you when I was growing up. Um yeah. with with all of all of that because I went through that I was um I was in the streets when I was 14 15 so um you being in my life would have definitely been beneficial but let's go ahead and talk a little bit about why you chose the paths that you chose what what can you say to our viewers that will inspire them to follow the dreams that you that you have. I mean, you have a, a lot of things going on here. The nonprofit, you have two shows under your uh, under your belt that you're doing just for yourself. And then you're doing all these other shows for other people. Like how 
would you inspire another person who's trying to follow their passions, but they don't have no, they don't have like the support or they don't have the encouragement or, or anything. What would you say to that person that wants to finally do what you're doing basically? What I would say is if there's something that you really want to do and you're passionate about it, I would say, do it. Don't, don't hold yourself back for long. I've always used to say, if I ever won the lottery, I would, you know, start a nonprofit or, you know, do a community center for kids. But I always, what always stopped me was that I didn't have the money. I always felt like you got to have money to do this. Yeah. I don't know what happened in 2020, but 2020 just, it, it just changed me. Like I was working at Culver's when 2020 started and that's a burger joint here. Um, and I just quit. Literally. I was just tired because I was just tired of working for somebody and getting only, we love you. We love having you. You do a good job. But when I go for a higher position, I don't qualify. So <laughs> when I quit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't yeah. know what I was going to do. Well, I ended up, you know, not to be putting all my business out there, but I ended up getting an employment. And instead of me going and splurging on Jordans and going out to kick it and, you know, buying bottles, I decided to invest it into business. So the nonprofit was the first thing that I started. And once I started the nonprofit, it was hard. It's been hard for me to get like grant funding. So I started creating other ways that I can come up with, you know, funding to fund my nonprofit. And I, I still to this day don't have a full board. Um, as far as the TV network, I literally just partnered with some people. And this is the thing. If there's something that you want to do and don't don't feel like money is going to don't let money not having money hinder you. Don't let not having support from friends and family hinder you. Yes. Just do it and keep networking. Yeah. All I did was I literally every day I'm posting, I'm in different groups. I'm on this, this platform. I'm talking to people. I'm on clubhouse. I'm on fan base. I continued and continued and continued to network and finally found those right people that had the same mindset as me that, okay, we understand you're starting from the bottom. We understand your growing is. We want to come in and partner with you and we want to grow it and we all make money win. This is my my motto. We make money win. That means we're mm. going to grow this together and when the money comes in, we're all going to benefit. Absolutely. I love it. Absolutely. And I, you just mentioned something about the clubhouse and I was just reading that you host a women's group every other Friday at Clubhouse, um, yes, where you host uh, a live. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Um, where you host oh. a live call in for them. I just can you talk about that a little bit? Maybe some women that will listen to this will be interested in knowing what that's about. Yeah. So um, I did start it, but I've been lacking lately because I had gotten kind of caught up in doing you know events and stuff over the summer. But yeah. that is the group called Sister to Sister. And when I say sister to sister, that I don't mean just, you know, for African-American women, it's for all women. And I started that group because we as women need to learn, need to support each other more. Yes. We need to be that crying shoulder. We need to be that lending hand if we can and just learn to support each other. So this is a group where people can come in if they have something that's on their heart that they want to talk about. If they're looking for advice on, well, what can I do? What, where can I find this? You know, if we want to get together and talk about entrepreneurship, just things that we need to come together and, you know, just bond as sisters and share different, you know, ideas and things like that. I absolutely love that. We definitely need more groups like that. Um, I just want to say that you are definitely a pioneer <laughs> when it comes to a lot of these things because and you're very welcome because... I mean, you know, you know me and you know my passions. Um, mm -hmm. Not too many people who are actually passionate and or, excuse my friend, you give a fuck. Um, right. And that's what's wrong with the community now. And then also to speak on um, the support part. Um, I love how you said that you don't need, also, well, obviously we need money to do some things, but 
Um, I love how you said that don't let money or lack of support stop you from following your dreams. Because if you do the work necessary, like you said, like networking and putting yourself out there, letting people know like, hey, this is what you got going on. You're able to make it just by that. And I just want to say that you are a true inspiration in that aspect. And just being a, you know, a woman like myself, of course, that's inspiring. But thank you. Um, we, just, we, need, we, need, we need more pioneers like you. Yeah, because it's like if you really want to do something, like I said, and this is your journey, God is going to make sure you get to your goal. You just can't give up. You know how many times I have gotten frustrated and was like, because I didn't have the support or because, you know, things just wasn't going right or I didn't spend money over here and I'm still not getting meeting the goal that I need to. But it's something that's like, mm -mm. I'm right back at it the next day or maybe the next hour. You know what I'm saying? For yeah. some reason, since 2020, I have been on this journey and I have not yet quit. I have not gotten any funding to incorporate any of the resources within my ladies and years, the nonprofit, but I still renew it every year. I just renewed it the other day because I am confident that something is going to happen and I am going to meet my goals. That is for sure. Um, speaking of that, um, is there um, something you can tell the viewers on how they can support your nonprofit and everything else that you are currently doing? Because like people just think that support is just monetary. Um, and I need people to understand that support is not just monetary. So how can people support, whether monetary or not, um, for your nonprofit and all the other business ventures you have going on? You know what support to me is if you share it, like spread the word, let people know, hey, this lady was on this show. She has this going on. You can go view it on the website, www.queenstalktv.com. You will see Lady Xenia's on there as well. I have, you know, Instagram pages. I have Facebook pages. Check me out. See what I'm doing. Please share you know, just spread the word. If and, and donations doesn't always have to be monetary, like she said. If you want to send coats or something for kids, when I'm doing a kids' coat drive again or a Christmas giveaway, if you like to sign up to adopt a family, you know, you can help in those ways. Absolutely. I just want to thank you so, so much for today. Um, what are, because we have about a couple minutes here. Um, what is the final thing that you want to just tell the morning mimosa viewers, whether it be a word of encouragement or, you know, something real like, hey, get your ass up and do something. Because, <laughs> um, you know, because you know how we are um, when we're valuing all of these things that we state, we also make sure that there's 100 percent truth. So if, if we got to tell you, like, hey, get your ass up and do yeah. this. Yeah. Do uh that. I would say don't talk about it, be about it. Okay. And set that foot forth. Do not go in there with the mindset of looking for support from family and friends. Yes. Go in, you know what I mean? Some yeah. will, some won't. But don't if you go in without looking for it for them, then you won't disappoint yourself in the end. That is absolutely true. Absolutely true. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so I just want to thank you so much for sitting down with Morning Mimosas today. We completely appreciate you guys. And we will put um, everything that Miss McKenzie is doing in the description below, including all of her social media handles. If you guys want to get in touch with her, she is an amazing person to speak with, y'all, for real. She's given me a lot of different tools for like my, my criminal justice dream. So please, please, please utilize what you got. Um, she is an amazing resource for a lot of great things. So please, please, please get in, get in touch with her and all that information will be listed below. Once again, I want to thank you so much for being on Morning Mimosas. You guys, this is Morning Mimosas, where we value criminal justice, healing, and education for our Black and minority communities. Until later, ta-ta. See you later.